Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Shahab and I have an update today for you. I'm really excited to announce Orion. Orion is a desktop application for various agentic geospatial tasks. There are three things in Orion that differentiate it from anything else that we have developed so far. The first thing is that it will run on your own computer. So you don't need to have a separate database somewhere else. You don't need to host your data somewhere else. Everything will be on your own computer with your own data, your own large language models and anything else. The second thing is that if you care about privacy and you don't want your data hosted somewhere else, Orion is for you. So everything will stay within your network and on your own infrastructure, which is amazing. This, the third thing is that it has been developed in a way that it's super modular. Why? Because we want to easily integrate different things into this app. And not only us, but you can also do that. Different agentic tools, no problem. MCP servers, no problem. A2A, no problem. Any protocol out there, AI related, no problem. All these things can be done easily in this app. It's super fast, as I will show you in this example. In this example, I have an image on my desktop and then I just tell it that this is the name and then I want it to do four things for me. First, get the metadata from the image and then I want some statistics and some visualizations for that statistic, uh, statistics that it extracts and also the map or the image that I want to be displayed on the map. That's it. And the interesting thing is that some of these tools are actually coming from MCP servers that I have set up. I will show you in a moment. Uh, one of them is a file system MP server and the other one is a set of tools that I have for a statistical analysis. In this case, just simple uh, statistical calculations. Um, and in this case, I just use uh, Gemini 2.5 Flash, which is a thinking model. So because it's a thinking model, it just analyzes different things and then after that, it will choose the right path to continue with. So it extracts the image, it finds it based on the tools. So for example, this one comes from the uh, MCP server, file system MCP server, and then it extracts the metadata. Uh, it provides some information for us. It will also provide the chart and then add the image to the map. And then uh, in this case, uh, it also opens the sidebar for us. It's already open, so we didn't need that. Um, but also you see that it shows the image. And the interesting thing is that this image can be a tile server. So you can also run a tile server on this and then run huge data on it. So no problem whatsoever. So let's see what else we have. So it actually has a lot of other features. This is just a very, very simple example to see how different things can be done easily with this app. Um, we have a knowledge base. You have seen that in Chat2Geo, it's a more advanced version. We have the models where you can integrate different providers with it, uh, such as even Olama to bring in your own models or open source models. And uh, we have MP MCP server integration. So as I said, I had two MCP servers for that example, and you can see them in here. You just add them and that's it. It's very, very easy and straightforward. And there are plugins and integrations and things like that. So a lot of things um, we're working on this hard um, to make it really robust and powerful. It's, it has an open-ended architecture and uh, it has a lot of capabilities that I will announce uh, sometime soon. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.